Hi everybody, my name is Jackie Feist. I'm the principal at Dodge City High School. And it is my privilege to welcome all of you to Dodge City High School. For most of you, this is going to be your freshman year. And in that transition between middle school and high school, I want to make sure you understand what our role is at Dodge City High School and what you need to be thinking about during your freshman year. First of all, um, our role at Dodge City High School is to prepare you for whatever you want to do when you leave high school. And parents, that doesn't mean it's the same for every student. So during the course of your freshman year, please take some time and um, do some um, soul searching about what you want to do after high school and then help us to make sure we're preparing you appropriately by talking to your counselors, your teachers, and making sure we have you enrolled in the correct classes, not only for your freshman year, but also for the rest of your high school career as well. Um, most importantly, day one of high school is when your high school resume starts building. So the big difference between middle school and high school is everything counts. Everything goes on your transcript. So please make sure day one of classes that you're serious about school, taking care of business, and preparing yourself for your your future. Best of luck and can't wait to see you on day one of high school. Hello, my name is Mike Martinez. I'm the associate principal at Don City High School. I'd like to welcome you to our building. You can find my office up here in Hoover. I'd like to explain a little bit about our block scheduling as it is new to you. We have four blocks here at the high school that are 85 minutes in length. We have a smaller block that is 43 minutes in length called Opportunity Period. With the block scheduling, our classes meet every day for a semester. That is, from August, to, from August to December, you will have the same classes. And then when you come back from winter break in January, you will have four different set of classes from January to May. Some of you may have classes that alternate every other day, and these classes go all year long. If you have alternating classes, or what we refer to as red and blue classes, you will earn a half a credit from August to December, and then the second half of that credit from January to May. When you look at your schedule, those alternating classes are designated by red and blue day classes. Just so that you know, our first day of class on Wednesday, August the 19th, will be a red day. So be sure and go to your red day class on Wednesday, August the 19th. Many of you may be wondering when you may have lunch. Lunches are determined where you are during your fourth block class. So when you look at your schedule, if you have your fourth block class in Chagru or Votech, you will have first lunch. If your fourth block class is in Hoover, you will have second lunch. If it, your fourth block class is in McCarty, you will have third lunch. And if your fourth block class is in athletics or Tolson, you will have fourth lunch. Again, I'd like to welcome you to our building and hope you have a fantastic school year. Hi, I'm Mr. Steiner, Assistant Principal at Dodge City High School. I'm responsible for letters A through G-O, and I'm here to talk to you about school attendance. Um, if your child is going to be gone from school, you need to notify the school as soon as possible, um, hopefully in advance, um, but at least by that, some point that day. If your child is going to be gone during the day for appointments or for other reasons, um, they need to, you need to call the school um, as soon as possible again. Um, the more advan advanced, the better. That gives us more time to get the student a pass from the office, and they need to check out with the house secretary which their class is located. Um, school starts at 750. Um, yes, there will be traffic and it's, it'll back up quite a bit some days, so you need to get here as soon as possible. Um, the academic house is open at 7.30 and the commons opens at 7. Hi, I'm Sean Lampy. I'm an assistant principal. Welcome to Dodge City High School. My office is located in McCarty Hall, uh, which is the freshman hall, so I'll see you all around. You're welcome to my office. Um, own the line, Dodge City. Hi, I'm Cherry Deges, Assistant Principal in Tolson Hall. I work with Career and Tech Ed and hope to see you up in the hallway. Welcome to Dodge City High School. I'm Ms. Hartzler, I'm one of the Assistant Principals here at the high school and they've asked me to talk to you about our cell phone policy. Um, basically, if you get in trouble for a cell phone your first time it's a warning um, and then a parent has to come pick up your cell phone from the office. Um, Any times after that, 
can be days of being suspended um, or detention, just kind of depending on what actually happened. Um, so be very careful and keep those cell phones put away at all times. Um, even in the hallway, if it's during class time, someone could ask for you for your phone. So you need to be really careful. Um, my office is here in Chagru, so if you ever need anything, just stop by. Welcome to Dodge City High School. My name is Jay Gifford, Athletic Director. Our first day of fall sports is Monday, August 17th. For the first day of sports, you'll need a physical and a concussion form signed by both you and your parents on file in the athletic office. We highly encourage all of our freshmen and new students to become actively involved in the activities here at Dodge City High School as it has proven to improve academic performance. Once again, welcome to Dodge City High School. Enjoy your school year. Thank you.